So here we are, changing up the setting a little bit from the normal studio setting, because it is absolutely beautiful outside today, so I figured I'd take the opportunity to enjoy this beautiful weather. <laughs> So I want to talk about a story from a recent trip to Martin Guitar Factory that really changed my perspective and it was really, really interesting. As somebody that's been playing guitar for a really long time, has been a Martin Guitar fan for a really, really long time. In fact, for people that aren't guitarists, there's two major acoustic guitar dealers and factories. Essentially Taylor Guitars and Martin Guitars. And that's for acoustic guitars. For electric there's you know Gibson, there's Fender, then there's a couple other ones like PRS, like Paul Reed Smith and Ibanez like on, on different levels for certain things. Regardless for acoustic guitars Martin and Taylor are pretty much the, the top tier of guitars and there's two schools of thoughts. There's the people that are like Taylor guitar players and there's people that are Martin guitar players. And if you're not familiar, it's very much like the Apple and Android kind of schools of camp, where it's like you're an Apple user or you're an Android user, and you're usually not both, because usually, you, like, really, they're very different in terms of, like, Martin Guitar and, and Taylor or Apple and Android. They're very different. So I've been a Martin guitar player for a long time. The first guitar that I actually bought for myself, which I bought in 2014, was a Martin DRS-1. It was a lower end model Martin guitar, but it was, it, for me, it was a lot of money at the time. I was in college, like I really didn't, I think I made $10 an hour. So to save up for a several hundred dollar guitar was a lot of money. So it was a big deal for me and I was really excited and it was my baby, I, you know, I had, had it for years. And I really am a really big factor of making work what you have rather than trying to go and get things you don't necessarily have or can't afford or don't know how to use because I had used and played several more expensive guitars even in, at Guitar Center where I bought my guitar and they just didn't work for what I was looking for. They didn't sound the way I wanted them to sound and I was really really happy with my guitar. I'm a big big believer in like learning your instrument not necessarily just the guitar but your instrument and even my PA system for example this is a side note but like people would come up to me and be like man your sound sounds great and, and you know I didn't have an expensive system I had actually a very cheaper system but I just learned how to work and I'm a believer that like you know God blesses if you make the most of what you had I think I think that God will bless that and you know it could sound better than some of the more expensive equipment out there. But point being, I love my Martin guitar, but I, I hadn't played a gig in a long time, and my first gig back, I was preoccupied because I was borrowing gear from somebody else, so I was worried about their gear and stuff, and I left my guitar at the gig, and somebody stole it. So I haven't had a guitar in actually about a year. We just hit, hit the, the year mark, but I, I, I've been borrowing guitars, acoustics, from, from friends when I needed an acoustic. So that being said, we went to a, a friend of mine was like, hey, let's, let's go to the Martin Guitar Factory. Like, I really want to show you where it is. It's a really cool experience. So I went and I gotta say, as a, a Martin guitar aficionado, I gotta say, I was pretty disappointed. So we get there, we went. First of all, like, I mean, it's beautiful. Like, they, it was cool to see, they have a they have a museum in there. And it was cool to see, like, just the museum of, of guitars. Like, people had played, like, they had Kurt Cobain's guitar. They had Johnny Cash's guitar. They had the one millionth Martin guitar made, the two millionth, the 2.5 millionth. They've made a lot of guitars. All these guitars throughout history and played at certain things and special events, which is really, really cool to see. But that being said, we went for the tour of them making the guitars and they have two main factories. They have one in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and they have one in Mexico. Certain guitars are made in Mexico and then certain things are made in Pennsylvania. So we went and I, I gotta say, they were pretty proud of this, but I was kind of disappointed to see how much was robotics at this point like a lot of what they do is robotics and it was it was really I don't know they were like kind of excited because it was like modern technology that they're using but I was like I was disappointed to some degree because also not only with the robotics it kind of felt like an assembly line like every guitar touches 150 hands before it's finished which again these were all things that they were like excited about but for me I was like it's a lot of hands and and you would see like these people that were like their one job was to you know put that little inlay say in this one little spot so all he's doing all day is taking one guitar putting this inlay in put it down next guitar put this one inlay in take it put it down take this next guitar one inlay put it down. you know it's like i was like he doesn't really care about each guitar he is just doing his job and he's gonna put it in 20 inlays every day and then go home and it's like i don't know well again while they were excited about it and they were happy like it made me realize like man like they've come far from like the handmade custom guitars you know and as an alternative i recently had gone to the jack daniels distillery now I'm, I'm not a huge jack daniels fan as much as i enjoy whiskey i'm not a tremendous jack daniels fan in fact actually part of the reason i think why is because i know how big of a brand it is 
I'm like, oh, it's it, it, it's a name brand. I like the smaller batch stuff because typically they care more about their stuff. So I went to the Jack Daniels distillery and I was blown away with one, how simple their process was, how few steps their process was, and how much passion they had towards their process. This could have been the tour guide's difference. You know, the tour guide for Jack Daniels was amazing such passion for what they did the tour guide for martin very lackluster and very much did not necessarily have passion so that could be it too you know maybe she had passion to be different but like i said i'm not a big jack daniels fan but it actually made me want to like their product because of how much they cared how close to the roots of their the creation of their product it was and i appreciated that i thought that was so, so cool the contrast though was tremendous like i don't know i gotta be honest i don't know if I, I'll never say never because like you know we'll see what happens and they still do make great guitars but as somebody that cares about the craft you know of like the creation the art form the passion of products like I don't know if I want another Martin guitar to be honest I probably will to be honest get one because for what you get like it's still a great product for the price but I would love one day when I can afford it like go out and get an, a, a custom acoustic guitar where like somebody cares about what they're making their passion they're the ones cutting the wood choosing the wood sanding the wood you know fitting the pieces together they care it's a passion project right I have a friend that makes guitars Del Giorno guitars a unbelievable guitars and he cares everything he's cho he's like yeah this pot doesn't look right let's choose a different pot let's that's what I want and one day when I can afford one of his guitars I want one of his uh, electric guitars I don't know so that, that's where I'm leaning towards I also don't like the fact that everything's kind of cookie cutter they all kind of look exactly the same and like you're not getting any Anything special I don't know this is my opinion and I would love to know your comments down below but those are some of the reasons why I don't think I'll ever buy a Martin guitar again